the TU-214 medium-range airliner, which was introduced to the skies in 1996, occupies a distinct position within the potential fleet of Russian corporations. The airplane's production was not halted, even though it was carried out at a reduced rate to accommodate state customers. A passenger version of the 34 TU-214s, which had previously been produced, may be restored for operation. The TU-214 has the advantage of being optimized for flights at a higher altitude than the MC-21, which is lighter. According to UAC CEO Yuri Slyusar, there is potential for a cargo version of the aircraft. In the recent past, Russian airlines have operated over 40 freighters that are based on jet passenger airliners, including three TU-204Cs. The TU-214, which is derived from the TU-204, has the potential to replace at least half of the current cargo fleet. The Kazan Aviation Plant, KAZ, is undergoing significant modernization efforts to increase the production capacity of the medium-haul TU-214 passenger aircraft. This initiative is part of a broader program approved by the Russian government aimed at revitalizing the aviation industry and enhancing both civil and military aircraft production capabilities. The company intends to fully complete the modernization by 2026, which will substantially enhance the efficiency of the production of civil and military products. The Russian government has approved a comprehensive program for the development of the aviation industry, which includes the integration of the facilities currently under construction into the production process. The program anticipates a substantial increase in the production of TU-214 aircraft in the serial format. In 2024, KZ is expected to construct one new aircraft, followed by seven airliners in 2025, 17 in 2026, and eventually 28 aircraft annually starting in 2028. Konstantin Timofeev, managing director of Tupolev, said, With the commissioning of all the planned facilities, the company will significantly reduce the time frame for production. The machining center will house more than 120 machine tools. Another 15 facilities are in varying degrees of readiness, seven of which are already in the active construction phase. The new facilities and equipment will allow us to start serial production of civil aircraft and ensure the construction of 20 TU-214 aircraft per year. The technical re-equipment of the plant is conducted in accordance with state funding programs. KZ has already commissioned nine of the 24 intended facilities. The bench and laboratory building, the shop of production of welded assemblies and units, the shop of mechanical assembly production, and the test box for onboard system and unit testing are among them, according to UAC. The machining center is one of the primary objects of modernization, and its construction is proceeding at a rapid tempo, according to UAC. The thermal circuit of the building is scheduled to be closed by the end of the year, following which the interior completion and equipment installation will commence. The building is 40% complete, and the primary building structures are currently being completed. Work to prepare the site for the installation of a Russian-made five-axis portal milling machining center with a vacuum table for the production of long aircraft parts commenced at the Kazan Aviation Plant earlier. An area of 371 square meters was laid down for the new machine's foundation. The machining center will enable the production of components made of aluminum alloys with a maximal size of nearly 24 meters. The facility is expected to receive the equipment in early 2025. Now, do you think TU-214 cargo planes should have been marketed worldwide and Russia has missed a big chance? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share the videos and subscribe to the channel. Please also take our memberships to encourage us.